It's your girl Kaylee and today I have my beautiful daughter Kiki and I'll be taking out her over a month old breed. So I'm going to start by catching her hair up into a ponytail. And this hair has done for over a month now. It still could stay for more time but her birthday is coming up next week the 2nd of February so I am going to do her hair all right so we already did one right here so we're just going to just gently remove that one and then we're going to use a hair needle to just pull the hair it is more safe and effective without damaging your natural hair. So you can see that it's very small. So just take that hair needle and just gently pull through. And if you notice, we are going through very easily. This way is very effective and you do not damage your hair in the process. And this is what I always do to remove her braids, even when I do it very small, more smaller than this. Having doing, done it very smaller than this for a while now because our hair is getting very tall and it takes time. I will be doing it smaller than this after her birthday because I'll be putting her back into some protective hairstyle because she's on her hair goat journey. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button and be a part of the Sparks family. And you can also go and watch my video on how to do French braid. And this way is more gentle than using a hair comb to go through it. So right here where we have the little knot, you just take your fingers and take your time and separate it. That's where the new growth is. So you just take your fingers and just take your time and separate it. And then we go on to the next one. As you can see, it's very small. All right. So just take your needle and just go right into that tip and just pull through. And protective hairstyle has been growing her hair over a while now. So I would refer you to stick to protective hairstyle if you want your hair to grow. So as you can see this is very gentle. I just go into it and it just go through very smooth. No hitching, no pulling. And you're just going to continue to do this for each and every one and I'll show you the finishing result and I'll make sure that I time it as well to know if you know how long do it take to pull out her braid when it's done this amount all right so just continue watching So I'm close to half of her hair and as you can see it's pulling out very okay all right
and then when you reach to that section you just take your time and pull the root with your fingers that's where the new growth is and if you see the root here you see that you have new growth there so remember just hold the hair into your hand and just detangle the end with your needle and you won't get any breakage and when you're braiding your hair do not braid it right out to the end when you reach to the close to the end just give it a little twist because that will help break your hair as well So just to give you an idea of how smaller hair is, look at the size of this lollipop stick and look at the hair. Right? That's how small our hair is. And the length of our hair is 14 inch. So just imagine how long is this going to take, right? So that's why I rather using the needle. So I finish pull her hair you can see that the product build up on her hair mm -hmm. there and it take me roughly about two hours because I stop several time and do other stuff so it take me roughly about two hours so I'm going to detangle her hair and then I'm going to steam and wash so if you would love to see the whole process of her hair preparing for her birthday make sure that you put some comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be a part of the sparks family peace out love you guys